Well, hello. Evening, George. Turning much colder across the UK in the next few days. A colder night tonight, though, than last night. The frost more widespread, and we'll see fog returning as well. In fact, it hasn't really cleared from some parts of the northwest of England today. More fog certainly here as we go into the small hours of Thursday across southern Scotland, Northern Ireland, for North Wales and parts of the Midlands. Further south, more cloud drifting in, bringing some drizzly rain, but I think largely protecting us from the cold and the developing fog. Further north, though, widespread frost and in rural areas, a cold night, lows of minus three or minus four possible. If you're heading onto the roads first thing on Thursday, do bear in mind that fog could be quite hazardous across parts of Northern Ireland, southern Scotland, almost anywhere in northern England, perhaps more so to the west of the Pennines, but some patches are possible, particularly in the Vale of York, across the Midlands with more of an emphasis towards the east than we've had today and for North Wales. For the south, it's a grey start, but for another reason, a lot of cloud around and some drizzly outbreaks of rain. But we should, apart from perhaps a few isolated pockets, be frost free here. As the day pans out, we don't really brighten up very much. Perhaps a few brighter spells across northern England and the southwest of Scotland come the afternoon. But many areas keeping the clouds, some drizzle in the northeast, some more persistent rain getting into the southwest. Quite windy as well to the far southwest of the UK by late on in the afternoon. And this rain quite quickly, I think, fringing into Northern Ireland during the evening as well, courtesy of this weather front here. The front keeps pushing its way eastwards across the UK for Friday, but by then it's kind of just fizzled out into a band of cloud and some drizzly outbreaks of rain. But again, it makes for a grey day and it will feel pretty chilly. The story, though, really changes by the time we get to the weekend. Colder air digging its way down from the north. It looks like we could see low pressure coming into play with that. And during the weekend, there's a chance of things turning increasingly wintry, maybe even some snow, George. Oh, dear. All right, Susan, thanks.